In this example, we need to graph the equation y equals 3 quarters x minus 2 by plotting points. How many points do you need to graph a straight line? You only need two, but I strongly suggest you plot three points because if they don't lie in a straight line, it then can tell you you've made arithmetic errors and it will help you find them. This problem doesn't say which points you need to plot, so it's up to us which points we plot. We're going to need a t-chart, and I suggest three points. The first x value I always use is zero. I call it my lazy arithmetic point, because when x equals 0, y equals 3 quarters of 0, so 3 quarters times 0 minus 2. Well, what is 3 quarters of 0? Zero? 0, so 0 minus 2 is just negative 2. So my first point is the point 0, negative 2. Let's graph that. Start at the origin. x is 0 means don't go left or right. Y is negative 2 means go down 2, so there's my first point. Now for my next X value, I want to avoid fractions for my values of Y, so I'm going to make sure X is a multiple of this denominator of 4. So the next X value I'm going to pick is X equals 4, so Y is going to equal 3 quarters times X, so it's 3 over 4 times, since this is a fraction, I'm going to turn 4 into a fraction by dividing it by 1. Then don't forget the minus 2. The reason we pick multiples of 4 is that will then reduce away that denominator. So y equals 3 times 1 is 3 over 1 times 1 is 1, 3 over 1 is 3. So I'm going to get 3 minus 2, which is 1. So my next point is 4, 1. So let's graph that point when x is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, y is positive 1, so I go up 1. There is my next point. Now I need one other point, and I think since I've gone over to the right, I want to go over to the left get some points down here, so I'm going to pick x equals negative 4, again a multiple of my denominator. So y equals 3 quarters times x, x is negative 4 over 1, minus 2. So y equals 4 reduces with this negative 4, negative 1 time. So I'm going to get 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3 over 1, which is negative 3 minus 2. And so y is going to equal negative 5. So when x equals negative 4, y equals negative 5. So that point, start at the origin again. 4 to the left to get me to negative 4, and then 5 down to there. And those look pretty good. It looks like it's going to give me a pretty nice straight line. So let's draw my line and see if I can get it going through all my points. And there we go. And then I can put arrows on both ends. And so here is the graph of y equals 3 quarters x minus 2.